Happy Canada Day, ya hosers! Thanks for joining my channel. Today we are doing 25 things you didn't know about Canada. And while you listen to these 25 things, you get to watch my red and white home build in The Sims 4. Everything in this house is, you guessed it, red and white. Kind of reminds you of a certain maple leaf flag, doesn't it? Well, let's get into our fun facts. Number one. Canada came into being as a country on July 1st, 1867, when British Parliament passed the British North America Act. But we didn't get our iconic flag until 100 years later. Number two. Canada has the longest coastline of any country in the world at 243,977 kilometers or 151,600 miles for our American viewers. Number three. The famous Canadian interjection A is listed in the Canadian Oxford Dictionary as a valid word. Pretty cool, eh? Number four. You can actually write a letter in any language and send it to the North Pole, postal code H0H0H0 Canada, and you will receive a letter back from Santa himself. Santa receives one million letters each Christmas to this address. Number five, Quebec manufactures more than 77% of the world's maple syrup. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love that maple syrup on pancakes. Number six, the townspeople of Nanaimo, British Columbia, race their bathtubs as part of an annual aquatic tradition. The first race was held in 1967 and was called the Nanaimo to Vancouver Great International World Championship Bathtub Race. Woo, sounds pretty fun. Number seven. Canada geese have as many as 13 different animal calls that are distinctly their own. They're also very protective parents, which is why we often see them charging and attacking people. Number eight. Canada has our very own version of the Loch Ness Monster, and its name is Ogopogo. Ogopogo lives in Lake Okanagan in British Columbia, and there have been many sightings of this monster throughout the years. Number nine. You probably associate hockey with Canada, but hockey isn't actually our national sport. Lacrosse is. Lacrosse was originally played by tribes in North America in the regions that would eventually become Canada. Number 10. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I mean, that's the age-old question. Well, I don't have an answer for you, but I can tell you that Hawaiian pizza was actually invented by a man from Ontario, not Hawaii. Number 11. Up to 30% of Canada is covered in trees and thick forest. <sighs> Breathe in that beautiful, wonderful oxygen. Number 12. The largest Sony big screen TV can be found in Toronto at the Rogers Centre. I've never seen it, but it sounds pretty awesome. Number 13. Canada consumes more mac and cheese than any other country in the world. And can you blame us? Katie is life. Number 14. Canadians are seen as polite and kind as tourists around the world, but we can still be pretty kind in our own country. Residents of Churchill, Canada actually leave their cars unlocked to offer an escape for pedestrians who might encounter polar bears on their walk. Whew, sounds pretty scary. Number 15. Canada has some of the 
best pizza in the world, according to the International Pizza Expo in Las Vegas. Pizza from Windsor, Ontario placed third overall at the 30th Annual Expo. And I have to concur, Windsor pizza is amazing. Number 16. After the attack on Pearl Harbor during World War II, Canada declared war on Japan before the U.S. did. Canada had already been at war with Germany for more than a year and was actually the first country to officially declare war on Japan. And during World War II, Canada gave out buttons to people who tried to enlist but were refused due to medical reasons to show their willingness to fight. Number 17. Move aside, Springfield. Canada consumes the most donuts and has the most donut shops per capita of any country in the world. Number 18. Canada and Denmark have been in a squabble over an uninhabited island since the 1930s. Hans Island is located in the middle of the 22-mile wide narrow strait, which separates Greenland from Canada. The calm diplomatic waters grew a little choppy in 1984 when Canadian troops visited the island, planted the Canadian flag, and left a bottle of Canadian whiskey sitting there waiting. The country's Minister of Greenland Affairs soon arrived on the island to replace the offending Canadian symbols with a Danish flag and a bottle of Danish schnapps along with a note saying, Welcome to the Danish island. Canada and Denmark's alcohol war has been going on ever since. Number 19. When flights got diverted during 9-11, Canada housed, fed, and sheltered over 33,000 passengers. And they actually made a musical about it. It's called Come From Away. This Broadway musical tells the incredible, true story of 7,000 passengers who were on their way to different parts of America when the tragedy of 9-11 struck. As the American airspace closed, 38 planes were grounded in the Newfoundland community of Gander, Canada. Number 20. Canada is the first country in the world to create a landing pad specifically for unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. It's located in St. Paul, Alberta, and was opened in 1967. Even Canada's Minister of National Defense at the time, Paul Hellyer, was there for the unveiling. The platform weighs just over 130 tons, and the concrete structure actually contains a time capsule to be opened in the year 2067. Number 21. Poutine, originally from the province of Quebec, is a mix of deliciously cooked french fries topped with cheese curds and gravy. It dates back to the late 1950s and is a classic Canadian dish available anywhere in the country. It is amazing. If you have never tried poutine, go try it. It's delicious. Number 22. Canadians have invented quite a few things, but here's a fun little list. Canadians invented the paint roller, the garbage bag, the pager, peanut butter, IMAX, the pacemaker, basketball, insulin, ice hockey, the electric light bulb, lawn sprinkler, snow blowers, and zippers. Number 23. In 1962, Pincher Creek, Alberta experienced the fastest, biggest temperature change ever recorded in Canada as a result of a Chinook. The temperature rose from negative 19 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius in just one hour. Number 24. Canada's national drink is the Caesar. It's like a Bloody Mary, but instead of tomato juice, we use Clamato juice, which is a mixture of clam juice and tomato juice. And finally, 
Number 25. Americans have invaded Canada twice, in 1775 and 1812. They lost both times. Of course, during this time, Canada wasn't Canada yet, but was British colonies. Still pretty cool. And during the War of 1812, Canada set fire to the White House on August 24th, 1814. Thank you everyone for joining me today on this wonderful Canada Day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned a little something that maybe you didn't know about Canada before. If you liked this video, give this guy a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put videos out every single week. Thank you guys, have a great day and have a very safe Canada Day.